Hello everybody and welcome to Notorious Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm Notorious Cly, and today we're playing more Resonators. I put up a poll on the community page of my YouTube channel, and you guys were about split 50-50, well like 45-45, as to which deck you wanted me to play next, and uh, split between Resonators and Tenny. So I'm going to play a different version of Resonators, we've been playing the big 30 card piles, Mech Knight Resonators, Garbage Lord Resonators, so we're going to play a smaller build this time, and uh, have some fun with it. You can see the deck list on the screen. Let's not waste any more time. Let's just duel. All right, and we're going against Yubel. Nifty, nifty stuff. I wonder if they're playing Thunder Dragons. I haven't seen a Thunder Dragon player in forever. Forever, forever. The only other time I see Yubel is, I think I saw some Yubel in Orcus format, like, Orcus first dropped, and uh, oh, they have a one card extra deck. Um, they're probably playing Fire King Yubel. What do you got a one card extra for, dog? What is the one card that is worth being in your extra deck? They playing Sacred Beasts. Okay, I have no idea what Sacred Beasts do. Uh, but good news is we got three cards set. Devoured by Sacred Beasts. Buh, 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 buh. Select two. Set stuff from outside the deck. Oh, okay. Hooray! We did it. I uh, I clicked read their skill. They must have sensed that I was reading and they stood no chance since they were playing Sacred Beasts. Let's go next. Okay, maybe this would be a nice, nice palette cleanser. Going second. They got all the cyber stuff. What are you on? Salads, okay. Mm, salad matchup is fine, depending on how much back row they have. But we do have the two lands, which is nice. So I guess it just depends on the specifics of the back row. When they decide to use it as well. So we might want to make sure we don't give them the opportunity to read that we have Lance. So if they have something like Needle Sealing, we don't cue them off to wait until we have a big field and then they can get at least something out of the Needle Sealing. Gazelle, dump, Jack. Jack bounce the summon. Nope, just gonna link. Now Jack bounces summon. Okay. Taking the bay links out of graveyard. Um, returning the gazelle to hand. If they give salads a payoff again for their combo, like uh, we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble, because they just generate card advantage like nobody's business, but for the most part it's empty advantage, because we don't have good link payoffs, and they don't have a good um, decibel trap card, because we, uh, you know, we got rid of Roar. But they look like they're doing stuff. Okay, so they got Firewall. Okay, so what do they got? They got one, they got a Firewall Bounce. What's in the word? Monster is co-linked. Are you co-linked? Yes, you have an up arrow. B -b 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 battles. Okay, so it just protects by battle. So we don't have the hand to beat this, but we also don't have the ability to survive another turn by setting a bunch of stuff. So we don't have an extender we drew into either. Yeah, this is uh, not great here, folks. Not great at all. We set three because we know we can't beat the board. And hope Lance can take it off off of them. That we can survive and use comp balls to our advantage. Follow is the Yeah. Set trap. What's your bouncing?
Uh, that's fine. It's fine. You get a free special of Mir. You should bounce it back, but that's fine. We're just gonna compulse your payoff. Fall is okay. Um, how does this work? Okay, we'll let them send. We have to let them send. They picked a good one. And we need to get rid of Firewall. They can get right back into Firewall, but they need to be able to co-link it. Which they might be able to do. Just because Firewall points down, and I think Sunlight Wolf points up, so they should be able to co-link it again and give it a bounce, but... Um... We'll see. We'll see what they can do. This... We'll lance the Enco Tucker because that's the most likely to probably stay on board. How is this not once per turn? How is Fall not once per turn? This is kind of wild, dog. Yep, they still found 4k. No big deal. Alright everybody, after two back-to-back -back losses that highlighted my exact frustrations with the current state that resonators are in right now, the inability to follow up in a meaningful way, and the inability to play through a single disruption with just your engine, I'm gonna go ahead and play a deck that doesn't have an issue with either of those. Let's rock out with Tenyi. Okay, we got Jaden. Probably E heroes. First, second, doesn't matter. I'm cooking. We're cooking. Oh no, I drew a hand full of all engine. Be a shame if I played through three interruptions with this hand. I love Tenny. It feels so, so, so much better than most other decks I've played in Duel Links. Don't get me wrong, I love Resonators. It has a very, very, very special place in my heart. Very special place in my heart. It's still my favorite deck of all time, but I'm very frustrated with the state that they have it in right now. Okay. So they're on Cyber Dragons? Uh, so let's do this. Let's... Special Shatana. Feel out the back row. There's about six different ways I can approach this. I like this way. So we're turning Vish on from the hand. And we're gonna go for a boxy line. We're gonna go with Shuna. Okay, so they get non-target pop one. Uh, thanks, you made this super easy on me, dog. Uh, let's go ahead and... Vish. Special. Normal Adhara. Make... Um... Do we make... Make Shaman, Pitch at Hara, Revive at Hara. Yep, we make... Shaman. Shaman, Pitch at Hara. Uh, we bring back the Monk to turn on Ashuna. Ashuna effect, summon third at Hara from deck. Make Boxia, spin two, we don't lose to the hand rip of Machina Fortress and our opponent has a clear board and we rip them apart. Oh no, I locked myself into tennies. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, let's go Vish. Bounce. And we should still win here. We'll go with Haro. Recycle the Ashuna. 
And then we don't need to spend the last one because we can just do this. Monk attack, shaman effect, destroy, free to player, boxia, shaman, OTK through a single disruption and a tricky monster to play around. Imagine that. Let's go one more. I'm in a much, much, much better mood now. Much better mood now that I'm not losing to a single interruption. A single pop would have shut down resonators if they used it correctly. Very frustrating. Magician's magic. Okay. Uh, hand looks okay. Two of the same name is not great if they're not normal summonable. Shatana's a welcome sight, and the Shuna's always a welcome sight, but like I said, two is two is not ideal, but we, we'll work through it. We'll see what kind of uh, resistance our opponent can put up, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. Secrets. Are you going to go ahead and fusion summon right away, or are you going to hold it to avoid targeted interaction? You're holding it. So that's 100% secrets. Uh, and Adhara opens this wide open. Let's go ahead and lead with Ashuna. Ashuna make Monk. Uh, they have no response. Um, so we're gonna do... Are they setting just like magic cylinder? That's throwing me off just a, just a wee bit. So let's go... Special Adhara. While we still control no effect monsters. Let's go with Shuna. Vanish for Vish. Vish, Ashuna, make Boxia. Boxia, spin the two back row. Okay, Tara, let's go Vish, Bounce, um, we can kill him pretty easily, Tara, Recycle, Vish, let's go Normal, Shithana, Monk, and Shithana, for Shaman, Shaman, Pitch, Vish, bring back Monk, then we'll use these to make Berserker, and then set Comp Pulse, activate our skill, did I not activate my skill last time? Shame on me. Shame on me for leaving life points on the table like that. Battle. Uh, let's lead with 23. Ooh, what you got? Lead with 3k? Okay, you got nothing apparently. Alright, good game. Much, much, much better. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this episode. I think switching to Tenu was the correct move because my mood has improved significantly. And because of that, we're going to be playing Tenu on the next video. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you on the next one. Be safe, have fun everybody.